On day one, I was a small death warden, searching through the underworld with my sole best friend, Grim. We made it to an ominous temple. Uh, we really shouldn't be here. It feels dangerous. I know, but I have to keep searching. I've been the only death warden in the underworld, and I've been lost. Other ones have to be somewhere down here too. We stepped inside and began to search around until Grim came across a huge abandoned skull. What is this thing? Grim touched it out of curiosity, causing the entire floor to shake. Grim, we should go now. But my friend started to float upwards as black essence and a dark aura surrounded and completely encased him. It formed into a massive skeletal being. What? A pure soul has finally reformed me again. After eons of imprisonment, I will feast upon all the souls here and be reborn! No, no! The skeleton snapped its neck towards me. On day two, I ran through the abandoned halls as the skeleton tore through the hallway behind me. Give up! There is no point! Ah! Because of the pain, I shot out and unleashed a soul boom attack, causing the ceiling to collapse and separate us. Ah, Grim, his body is in that thing? I have to save him, but how? Just then, the being burst through the rubble, but thankfully, I found a tiny crack in the wall and narrowly escaped. Ah! Wait, is this a small ghost town? It was full of underworld spirits. Please, help me! Someone, something took my friend like a monster! A monster took your friend? Get a load of his soul. He sounds crazy. But it was too late. An explosion of rubble erupted from nearby as the skeleton crawled into the cavern. On day three, the being started wreaking havoc through the town as it ate a soul. Killing it? How is that even possible? All of the other souls saw this and began to panic. Everyone, run! What even is this thing? No, you released the soul eater? Wait, you know what it is? Yes, it's the scariest being in the underworld. It's not a soul or a spirit. It's a mindless monster. And with it back, the entire underworld is at risk. But what about my friend? The soul eater, he has him. The spirit didn't listen and made a break for a tunnel. Hey, get back here. I followed it as we escaped the chaos in the town. From there, we were venturing up high through the underworld tunnels. Hey, I've never been this high up before. Where are we going? It didn't take long for us to reach a weird exit. What the? As I stepped out behind the spirit, I realized the underworld was much larger than I thought. It was more than just tunnels and caves. It's like an entire world. It is an entire world. And if you have any hopes of not being eaten, you should get as far away from here as you can. The spirit then started to flow away. Wait, you're just going to run? What about my friend? I then looked out and spotted a ruined ancient city. Wait, more wardens? On day four, I sprinted into the ruins. Hey, hello? Anyone here? Other death wardens. They had to have built this place, right? I continued to search around the area until I came upon a deadly looking claw there on the ground. As I went over and picked it up, something began to happen. My claws grew and my soul surged with power. I feel so much stronger. What the heck just happened to me? Suddenly, a couple of hellhounds appeared encircling me. Well, 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 a lost soul roaming into our territory? Look, I'm not your enemy, okay? A soul-eating monster is destroying the underworld. 
We don't care. Took our chewing claw. Give it back. What? No, no way. They both howled into the air as more hellhounds emerged from the ground below. They tried to rush in and attack, but out of instinct, I slashed at them with my new claws, taking one down. Whoa. Ah, retreat! All of them started to leave. Hey, no, not you. Wait, uh, don't hurt me. I, I uh, know something that you want to know. Yeah, and what's that? You came here to stop that soul-eating monster thing, right? Well, I know a guy who can give you all the answers you need. If you let me go, then I'll take you right to him. <laughs> Don't hurt me. On day five, I journeyed through the new terrain with the Hellhound. We then made it to the edge of a river, and on the other side was a large mountain. The golem guy you're looking for is up there. Okay, seems easy enough. I went to jump in the river, but the hound hit me back. Wait, you idiot! Ah, what? I then looked over and started to hear sounds? Is that? Yep, that's the stream of lost souls. It's made of souls that couldn't really find their place. I can relate to that. Well, how do we cross? The hellhound walked up to the edge of the river and kindly said, You're looking very nice today. Because of this, a platform appeared in front of him? Yeah, you just gotta make the souls feel good, you know? Say something nice. Uh... You guys are pretty cool. After a moment, a burning soul flame shot out and knocked me back. Ow! Yeah, you look very convincing. Oh, really? I then looked and saw that he already made it across the river. Just use my platforms, you big liar. Ugh. <sighs> Thanks. I made it across and up the mountain where we found an old tomb. The person we're looking for is here? We entered to find an ancient room. Hello? Hello? But no answer until flames ignited, revealing the old soul golem. Why have you come to disturb my rest? I, I, I'm sorry, but I need answers about- Shh! I sense it. The day has finally come. The ground shook as we all ran outside. There in the distance, a massive pit opened up as the soul eater crawled out and roared before continuing deeper into the world. The Soul Eater, its return will only bring pure horror to this world. What is it? It has my friend. Eons ago, the Soul Eater roamed freely between the underworld and overworld. Its hunger made it the ultimate predator to all beings. Those brave enough to stand against it soon learn the consequences. And the beast is unkillable. Unkillable? Why? No one knows, but a curse was put upon it. The curse forced its consciousness all the way down to one lifeless skull. But as soon as my friend touched the skull... The Soul Eater used him to empower himself back into its weakest form and continues to use it to grow stronger and stronger. Well, I have to find out how to save my friend. I have to stop this thing before it's too late. It's impossible. No one is strong enough. Yeah? Well, how about a death warden? On day seven, the three of us left the golem's tomb and found a secluded looking graveyard. This place has been abandoned for a while. It should be safe. Great. With that, we all got to work building each of our own homes to fit our style. It wasn't long until I finished mine. You know, not so bad. I walked around our base and saw that the golem had built another tomb and the hellhound had built up a doghouse for himself. Wait, I thought you were gonna go back to your pack. And what? Miss this show? <laughs> nah, man. I'll stick around with you. And plus, those guys are a bunch of freeloaders anyway. Um, okay. Suddenly, giant thorn weeds burst through the ground, wrecking our entire base area. Hey, what the heck? Because of their presence, everyone was being poisoned. What is causing this? On day eight, I followed the path of weeds as I was led to a shoreline. 
that overlooked an ocean city, but the weeds had also overrun everything here too. Yeah, and it sucks. Wait, what? Oh, a uh, ghost fish? Yeah, what's so confusing, buddy? I'm shocked to see a death warden, you know. Wait, you know about death wardens? Before he could answer though, the ground shook below us as we heard a distant scream. Get this! Ugh, we have way too much going on here. Hey, wait up. I ran after them and saw more ghost fish being hurt by the invasive vines. Wait, you guys aren't causing this? Us? Nope. We hate this stuff with a capital H. It just keeps growing here and drinking all of our water. It seems to be coming from that swamp. Over in the distance was a creepy swamp. Huh, look, what do you know about death wardens? Whoa, ho, ho. I just got a little, little idea. You know, we're too small and cute to explore that swamp. You want to know more about the Death Wardens? Go find and get rid of the source of these weeds. And then I'll tell you everything I know. On days 9 to 10, I made my way into the swamp. But as I went, I heard strange whispers all around me. Uh, hello? Anyone there? Huh. Continuing to follow the trail of weeds, I found a clearing in the middle of the swamp, and there was even more of them. But as I looked closer, I noticed that they all had various items wrapped around in them. Are they stealing from the underworld? Huge weeds erupted from the ground around me and started trying to grab me. Ah, what the heck? I ran through the weeds, trying to dodge their attacks as something caught my eye. A strange looking warden heart. Wait, is that from another death warden? But before I could react, a weed slammed down, causing both me and the heart to fall into a chamber below. Ah, ah. I had fallen into an area covered in roots. Is this place the source of the weed's power? There in the center opened the eye of the weed's hive mind, Dead Root. You invade my home with an intent to destroy. That's what you and your weeds are doing to everyone else. Good. Everything should be covered in my power. Its branches reached out and struck me head on. Ah! I tried my best to fight back, but he was so strong and more vines kept growing. Oh no! I began to run around the room and that's when I saw it. The Warden Heart. But Dead Root caught on and attacked again and knocked me aside. Ah! No! It was crawling up and was about to finish me when the ghost fish from before came out of nowhere, hitting it back with a spear. Hurry up! You don't got all day! I used the opening to grab the heart and felt another surge of power in my soul. I was now much stronger and gained more health. With that, I was able to unleash a powerful soul boom, eliminating the dead root. Oh, that was close. Thanks. Yeah, I'm cute all right, but I'm also fierce. On days 13 to 14, the ghost fish and I were walking back to his city when we saw from a distance that the weeds were gone. Yes. Okay, I held up our end of the deal. Now, what do you know? Look, it's not much, but those warden body parts you're finding, they are from previous death wardens. I've heard that there are five of them in the underworld that are known to enhance your spirit. I think people call them uh, the deathly remains. So there were other Death Wardens before me. Whoa. Suddenly, a massive roar echoed from the Ocean City. Oh no. Once we made it inside, we both saw the Soul Eater was there, devouring more and more souls. He's growing even stronger. No, no, my people! 
The Soul Eater noticed us and began to slowly crawl in our direction. On days 15 to 16, it launched, landing right in front of us. You, that little soul I saw all those days ago, the one that set me free. No, my friend's soul is what set you free. So let him go. In my anger, I unleashed another soul boom attack, but it just moved right through it. What? Oh, that was your friend. Would you like to talk to him? <gasps> Confused, I watched as a soul was momentarily pushed out of the soul eater's chest. Bozo, his power, it hurts. Help me. Grim, I will. No matter what, I will. I believe in you. Your friend now belongs to me. And my plans to return to the overworld will succeed. It began to charge right at us, and I was ready to fight. But before I could, the ghost fish summoned a splash of water that blinded my vision. On day 17 to 18, we were both now safely far away from the ocean city. Hey, why did you teleport us away? I have to fight that thing. I have to save my friend. Are you kidding? You nearly died to that tree monster. That soul eater thing would have eaten you in one whole bite. Yeah, I know. I need to find out how I can stop that thing. What did you say those warden body parts were again? The deathly remains. Well, I need to find the rest of them so I can take that monster down. From there, I brought the fish all the way back to my base and quickly made him a fishbowl home to stay in. Wow, thanks. You know, after everything, I really have nowhere else to go. Yeah, it's the least I can do. As I turned to go towards my home, the soul golem was standing there waiting for me. You saw it again, didn't you? Yeah, and he showed me Grim. He's still alive. I'm sorry. But it's important you stay focused. Nothing matters more than destroying it, no matter what. Now come with me. Hey, where are we going? In the golem's house, there was a soul flame just floating in the center. This soul has been speaking nonsense, but they mentioned a deathly remain. Really? What's going on? I'm... I am lost. I have almost no memories, except for something about a deathly remain. I don't know what's going on. That's okay. How can we help? I faintly remember a forest of bamboo. If you help me travel there, I think we'll find answers for both of us. Did someone save the bamboo forest? On days 19 to 21, I traveled to the edge of the bamboo forest with the lost soul and the hellhound. Oh, I used to love this place. I would come here and chew the bamboo all the time. <laughs> oh boy. This entire forest, it feels so peaceful. This is amazing. We then found a dark passageway leading down. Uh, that's scary, right? Yep, let's go. He dashed in without a second thought. Hey, wait up. Inside, we found a room with a dormant ritual circle. Once I stepped on it, flames throughout the entire room started to ignite. Oh, this is definitely the right place. But we've made it. All right. Now, what can we do to help? When a soul can't remember who it is, it's because they left their memories in the overworld. You gotta retrieve them for me from the cemetery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The overworld? But how and what exactly are we looking for? You'll know it when you see it. Just find the cemetery in a hurry. And remember, you can only visit the overworld temporarily. Temporarily? How temporarily? But before they could answer, the ritual circle activated as I was teleported out. On days 22 to 26, we were teleported into an alleyway of a human city. Yeah, this is definitely not the underworld. There were regular people everywhere. We don't stand out, do we? Ghost! 
Okay, we do. We should probably stay hidden. Ah, oh, you think? Come on, I can smell something this way. We navigated through the city, eventually reaching a cemetery. Wow, your nose led us right to it. We probably don't have much time. Where are those lost memories? As we approached the gates, I overheard the security guards patrolling the entire place. And make sure none of those punks are around here. I'm not scrubbing another ounce of spray paint tonight. Looking around, I finally spotted it. A faint glow that was coming from a crypt on the other side. That has to be it. We stealthily moved across, hiding behind tombstones to avoid being seen. And thankfully, I was able to reach the crypt. Aha, there you are. I carefully picked the orb up, but then... Hey, Arnie, some of them pranksters are dressing up like ghosts. Get them. On days 27 to 29, the security guards were chasing us around the cemetery. Armed with their batons, they started hitting me. Ah! Uh, uh, this cemetery is closed. Okay, any day now, we're ready to go back. Please! As we made a break for the exit gate, one of the guards hit a switch that caused the cage to trap us. Great. Uh, all right. All right. Which prankster are you, huh? Freddy? Jeremy? Is that you, Michael? I'm not a prankster, man. I got frustrated and shot out my soul boom, breaking open the cage. What the? What the? What is that thing? The guards sprinted out of the cemetery as I felt a weird sensation. And we were safely brought back to the underworld. Oh, thank goodness. The real world is a scary place, you know. I tossed the glowing orb to the lost soul. And because of this, they transformed into a completed soul. Yes, my memories. I remember it all. Uh, quick, follow me. On days 30 to 32, we followed the newly revived soul to his small tombstone home. And there was a motherly ghost waiting for him. Jake? Is that you? Yes, I remember you. I missed you so much, Mom. And I missed you too, son. As they were reuniting together, I saw past them inside was a skulkified object. Is that... The skulk shard. A deathly remain. It's my mother's most prized possession. Please take it. I have all I need now. I went and picked it up causing me to become even stronger again. My claws grew even more, and now I could burrow through the earth and summon a reaping scythe to attack. Sweet. Okay, man, that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's so good to know a death warden is back. Back? Yes, they haven't been seen for eons. Not since the last time the Soul Eater was here. When it fell, so did they. Wait, did the Soul Eater destroy all of them? But before I could have another thought, a bright explosion caught our attention. What just happened? On days 33 to 35, we ran towards the loud noise and there was the Soul Eater. Is he chanting? And from the looks of things, he was being fueled by Soul Essence. Before him, a dark castle rose out of the ground and storming from it were soul-eating minions. In a final surge of energy, the Soul Eater evolved into a more powerful form. He's getting stronger. <gasps> Finally, my old home returns to me. Followers, because of my power, you live. And I task you with just one thing. Bring me more souls, especially the Death Wardens. He cannot succeed in his plans. From there, the Death Minions dispersed and started to search the area. There could be something in that castle that can help us stop him. And I need to find out more. 
Are you kidding me? Those things are all trying to kill you, specifically. Look, I'm already dead. You know what I mean. I don't have time for this. I have to try. On days 36 to 39, I slowly entered the castle alone. And it didn't take long for me to find a long corridor filled with lava. Platforms held up by chains stretched across it, leading to another side. There has to be something here. I better be careful though. While I leapt between the platforms and made it halfway across, I saw a lifeless viking? Uh, what? Are you here to question me now? What? No, I'm not the soul eater, dude. I'm here to take it down. <laughs> Good luck with that. I don't need it. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to destroy him and save my friend. Do you even know what happens <coughs> if you kill that monster? What do you mean? Before he could answer, a group of the death minions stormed into the corridor. Oh no, uh, hurry, you're coming with me. Before they could hit me, I burrowed into the ground with the Viking to escape. On days 40 to 44, we emerged from the ground safely back to base. Ugh. You saved me. Yeah, because you know something we don't. What happens if I defeat the Soul Eater? As I said this, we heard more patrolling death minions in the distance. How about the Viking Steve? Those creatures captured me to find my crew. Lead me back to them, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay, fair enough. Before leaving though, I went and reinforced our defenses with fortified walls. With more of those death things out and about, I have to make sure that we're all safe. My thoughts were then interrupted by a loud laugh. And then I said, that fish is way too small. <laughs> yeah, this guy isn't funny. Okay, um, I'm ready whenever you are, dude. <clears throat> Uh, very well. I will uh, lead the way. On days 45 to 47, I was being led by the Viking, traveling through a dense jungle. Hey, do you even know where we're going? It wasn't long until we reached a clearing that revealed a massive, lifeless Viking camp. I guess you do. Sorry. Yes, my people! I chased after him into the camp's central courtyard. Oh, good to see you're back. <laughs> Oh, watch out! A monster is chasing you! No, wait! I'm with him! Come on, tell them! No, he is a monster! Take it down! All the Vikings ran in to attack! I was trying to defend myself using my newfound abilities, but they were starting to overpower me. Then I heard a loud horn, and suddenly a cage slammed down around me that was made of skulk. Looking down from above was their Viking leader, and his helmet had death warden horns attached to it. What the? Let me go now. <laughs> Listen to this beast. How dare he? Those horns you're wearing, they belong to me, not you. He used the horn, blasting me with its power. Ah! Put this beast in the arena. I'll handle it myself. On days 48 to 52, I was thrown into the center of the Viking arena. This can't be good. It wasn't long until the Viking leader broke down the opposing doors. You disrespect me, you will pay the consequences. We clashed as our battle began. I tried using my abilities, but he was surprisingly fast and strong. That helmet, he's wielding the power of the Death Wardens. Your people's horns. You wish to know why I have them? My original helmet? One that has been passed down for generations? Was stolen! In anger, he unleashed a barrage of attacks, throwing me back! Ah! He ran in to take me down, but I countered with my sight, knocking him back! Stop! I don't want to fight! Then... Why are you here? I just want to know how to kill that soul eater, okay? Or 
what happens if I do? Ah, so you want something. Well, me too. If you can retrieve my family's helmet and bring it back to me, you have my word that I will tell you everything I know about that monster. On days 53 to 56, we were sailing the deadly soul seas on a Viking ship. So, how do I know that I can trust you? I mean, your men already betrayed me once, you know. All right, you have a point. Surprisingly, he handed me over his Wardenhorn helmet. Because of this, my soul became more powerful. I gained five more hearts. And now, my horns gain the ability to sense any nearby souls in the area. Whoa. Where? You had your people's stupid horns back. Now, bring me my helmet back to me. All right, all right, I will. We finally docked on the shores of a dangerous looking pirate island. So, pirates stole your helmet? <laughs> Not just any pirate. I traveled deeper into the island until I saw that the stealing pirates were skeletons, but they all were acting mindless. Must keep fueling. Fueling? What? I watched as they gathered barrels and supplies and headed into a room inside the skull of the mountain. The helmet, it must be there. Once inside, I saw what they were fueling. The pirates were tossing supplies and were fueling their large and scary skeleton king. What is this? A newcomer on my island? Yep. And I'm here for one thing. I then spotted the Viking's helmet amongst the rest of their treasure hoard. There it is. Ah, so you're here for my treasure. No, only the one that you stole from the Vikings. We are the deadliest crew on the Seven Soul Seas. No one can demand anything from us. He rushed in, attacking me with his sword and powerful fire flames. I was just narrowly dodging his hits when I finally was able to hit him. But wait, you're not taking any damage? What the? My fire burns so bright, not even a warden can stop me. The fire, that's it. I focused on the pool that they were throwing all of the resources in. I got to extinguish it. What are you doing? No! Some of the skeletons saw what I was doing and tried to keep me away. Just as the king was about to reach me, I unleashed a soul boot right at the pit, extinguishing the fire. Because of this, the pirate king instantly became weak. No, my flame, my flame. Around the room, all of the skeletons seemed to break free from his control. Yar! Thank you! With this flame gone, we here be freed! How can we repay you? Um, no problem. I just want one thing. On days 60 to 63, I returned the helmet to the Viking leader. <laughs> You did it? His men cheered as I returned back and gave him back his helmet. Because of this, it empowered him with the power of his ancestors. Yes, finally, I feel like my rightful power has returned to me. With that, we started to sail back to their camp. Look, you've returned my most prized possession. Sir, I believe I owe you an answer. You wish to save your friend to kill the monster and free the souls it has devoured, right? Yes, and I will do anything. It's my fault that my friend got captured to begin with. I have to save him. If what you say is true, killing that beast might be the worst thing that you can do. Wait, what? What are you talking about? But then a horrifying roar shook the air just as we docked at the Viking camp. 
there before us was the soul eater. It began to immediately devour the Viking souls. And because it was stronger, it can now take multiple of them at once, causing it to grow even stronger. Everyone run! Vikings tried to flee, but as they jumped off the ship, the soul eater cut them off and consumed their souls too. It let out another deafening... No! I charged at it, aiming for its chest, and I hit it dead on. The Soul Eater was actually stunned. No! Stop! I didn't listen. You are gonna pay for everything you've done. Ha! The stronger you grow, the better your soul will taste. Shut up! I jumped up and tried to hit it again with my Reaper Scythe. But as I unleashed it, it hit me back with a powerful blast. Ah! Soldier, you can't destroy the beast. What? Why not? Because if you do, not only will it kill the monster, but every soul it has collected, even your friend. What? The soul eater came in for another blast, but a group of the Vikings ran in to distract it. You two, get out of here. We'll hold it off. The Viking leader and I reluctantly ran away, leaving the rampaging monster to destroy the Viking camp. On days 69 to 73, we barely made it back to base. There, the soul golem was waiting. I'm so glad you made it back safe. Is it true? If I kill that monster, does that mean all the souls within it die too? Yes. All of this time, my goal has been to be strong enough to take it down and save Grimm. But now what? What am I supposed to do? It is the only way. Without destroying it, then all other souls will be lost as well. No, no, there has to be another way. I'm not just going to accept that. Suddenly, I heard a scream ring throughout the base. Hey, hey, everyone! Wait, what's going on? I found it. I actually found it. Found what exactly? Something incredibly useful to us. Well, more you. And maybe the palace with the final deathly remain. The Death Warden Catacombs. On day 74 to 77, I was led by the ghost fish, heading deep underground. It wasn't long until we arrived at the Death Warden warden catacombs not that long ago i didn't even know more of me existed and now i find out there's a whole catacombs made for us yeah man i'm just as surprised as you but uh here they are good luck okay i may need it hello hello the vast underground chamber was completely empty besides one thing at the end was a large tomb and a burning Flame. Is this it? I went up and collected it, but because of this, my vision was blinded by white light. Ah! Uh, where am I? I found myself in an ancient city. Wait, is this that one I saw before? But it's different. And around me was a group of other death wardens. My people, where are we? The past. A time when Death Warden souls existed in peace. Existed? What happened? In Eon's past, when the Soul Eater was at its most powerful, only the strongest of souls could stand against it. The Death Wardens. Its goal was always to gain enough power to break through and into the overworld. But we were the last line of defense. We will not let you through! A battle took place. A battle where we realized our strengths were completely matched. This caused an explosion like none other. This not only destroyed our souls, but reduced the Soul Eater's power down to a single skull. The heroes who stopped the Soul Eater. It was you. It was all of you. The Death Wardens. Look, I'm lost. I need help. My friend, he's trapped, and I know that I need to stop this monster. There may be a way to destroy it, 
and save your friend, but you're not going to like it. On days 81 to 85, my vision returned to the catacombs where the flame on the tomb had moved. Hey, wait up! It led me to a magnificent chamber and the warden's voice rang out from it. Stand there. Okay, what are you doing? Suddenly, Death Warden spirits emerge from the floor, merging into me. Ah! What the? More and more of the spirits followed. Ah! It hurts! What's happening? All of us fallen Death Wardens are uniting with you, giving you the strength you so desperately desire. The strength? There is only one way to defeat the soul leader while saving everyone else. Well, then how? By your defeat. What? Before I could react, the final warden spirit merged with me, causing me to grow. My soul transformed into the strongest death warden ever. I feel so powerful, but my defeat? What do you mean? On days 86 to 90, I was headed back to my base when the ground began to shake. Whoa! Over the horizon, I saw the soul eater standing before his dark castle. Soon, my ascension to the overworld will be complete. With that, he unleashed a wave of soul energy that caused his castle to rumble and rise into the sky. For eons, I was trapped. But now, I'm so close to being free. Followers, keep watch for that pathetic warden. His death minions were on high alert in the entire area. No. I'm gonna need all the help that I can get. On days 91 to 94, I quickly returned to my base and I knew what I had to do. All of my friends had gathered all around me. Is everything okay? Not exactly. I talked to someone, another death warden, and they told me that my soul is now the strongest in the underworld and that if I want to save everyone, you must sacrifice yourself right? Yes, but only when he's at his weakest. And that seems nearly impossible right now. But if anyone is strong enough to do it, it's gotta be you, big guy. But you're not alone. We will fight with you for as long as you let us. I looked up to my friends. I'm so glad I got to know each and every one of you. Now, come on, let's do this together. On days 95 to 99, all of us made it to where the dark castle had risen from the ground. You really just came all this way just to die. I'm here to stop you, and I don't care what happens to me. So be it. Devour them! His army rushed forward to attack. Wait. What are you doing, guys? We'll cover you! You just focus on getting close to the castle. They all charge forward, clashing with the army of the Soul Eater. My friends fought fearlessly and made an opening for me to run past. This is it. I used my Reaper Scythe to take down a few more of them before making it to the foot of the castle. Now what? Suddenly, floating rocks started to appear before me, making a pathway. I'm getting too old for this. Go now! I jumped all the way up the path before turning back to see my friends. No, my family fighting all for me. Thank you. With that, I headed inside of the castle. On day 100, I made it to the innermost chamber of the dark castle. The other wardens before you couldn't defeat me. What says you'll be any different? Because I made a promise to my friend, one that I intend to keep. Well, why don't you just join him? The Soul Eater roared as it began to charge at me. Every single one of his attacks withered away at my heart, but I wasn't holding anything back. 
I was using every ability at my disposal. Come on. I just need him to get weak enough. You'll die trying. With the powerful slam of his hand, I was brought down to low hearts. Take this. Ah! We were across from each other, both weaker than ever. This is it. With you out of the way, no one will be strong enough to stop me. And everything will be devoured. He rushed in towards me as I thought back to everyone I had met along the way. I never knew my place in this world, never knew my family, but I know now. He reached me and hit me with his strongest attack yet. Ah! Yes! My soul was being devoured, but because of this, it was tearing him apart. Yes! In a massive burst of energy, both the Soul Eater and I were destroyed, releasing all of the souls he had eaten, including my best friend, Grim. 